Sea lions are getting sick at alarming rates up and down the coast. News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti gives us an exclusive look as volunteers try to rescue a sea lion and figure out what's going on. Off the coast of a Summerlin beach lies a California sea lion in distress. She is having mild seizures. Her eyes are twitching and bulging, and she has a lot of foam coming from her mouth. These are typical symptoms that we see with this illness. With a net in hand, Jen Levine is leading this rescue team from the Channel Islands of Marine and Wildlife Institute called Simwee to save the sick animal. And we have been seeing animals with very, very poor prognosis and very high mortality since August 15th. In the last month alone, more than 266 sea lions were found suffering from domoic acid toxicosis locally, a number that hits home for rescuers like Ken Hughes. And this is the worst outbreak of domoic acid that I've seen. All of us that work with these animals, we love them, and it's really hard on us to see this. We're going to net this animal and give her some sedation. That way it makes it less stressful for her and it makes it safer for the rescuers. Yeah, it's stuck on the so let's roll her, roll her, oh, her in. There we go. All right, let's get the top. All right, come up, one, two, three. The team transports this adult female sea lion, referred to as number 175. We number them, we don't name them because they're wild animals, these aren't our pets. She's taken to the Simwe Rehabilitation Center for treatment. <coughs> number 175 is not alone anymore. She's in good company with other sea lions suffering from the same illness. The sea lion has been here for about a week and experts here at Simwe hope she recovers from the neurotoxin. I'm also out there with hotline rescue response. When I say up and down the beaches in Ventura and Santa Barbara County, we are up and down the beaches from, from sunrise to sunset. Veterinarian Jacob Bryan says sea lions are sentinel species, meaning they tell us about the condition of the ocean. With this domoic acid crisis, this actually translates to humans very well because we can get this same poisoning from eating shellfish. Brian says this should be a wake-up call for humans to take care of the place these sea creatures call home. The ocean. Do things like not litter, not put stuff in storm drains. Those things all affect the health of our oceans, and that's the only place these animals have to live. As the sea lions begin recovery, Levine admits they can be a handful. They're gregarious. Some of them are very rude. <laughs> After all, they are wild by nature. But she loves the sea lions and hopes to give each one a chance for a good life. It's just neat to watch them progress through rehabilitation to becoming big, fat, and healthy and getting to go back home to the wild. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti.